Real Country with Robert Miguel. KVOU Sports with Drew. Presented by Chicago Title. 104.9 Coyote Country. Time again for KVOU Sports with Drew. Now on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Sorry about that. It's all about Don't apologize, uh, man. Goodness. We got uh, Drew Kimball here from Chicago Title. Always Chicago. happy to be here. Thanks again, always. I appreciate you having me. Happy to do this. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we, were, we didn't do it uh, Thursday because you were out at, at a work conference. Right? Yeah, I was in Austin for a work conference. We had a uh, Texas uh, uh, Land Title Association, just some title stuff. Uh, uh, wanted to send me out there. I did uh, Monday through Wednesday, so got all my classes done. I'm a smart kid now, so I think we're set. I think we're set. Certified. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to hop into a few things real quick, if that's cool with you. Wait, first, let's hit me. Give a shout out to Chicago Title. Yeah, Chicago yeah. Title. Sorry, uh, Windu Bose Branch Manager, one one six Northeast Street. Can reach us at eight three zero three 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 seven zero five zero. All your real estate needs. Love to answer questions, help out with contracts, anything like that. And now, now you're well trained. I am. Now I'm well trained, so I can definitely help everybody. (laughs) They let me up front now, so we're good. Very nice. All right. So, Drew, what's what's going on with sports, was Yeah, I was going to hit uh, some of the uh, scores. I know people really like the Spurs scores, so I thought I'd go ahead and just cover those. Uh, Did uh, Since last talking last week, uh, they've done definitely, definitely done better. Uh, Went 4-1 in their last uh, four games. Um, Beat the Hawks, uh, 111-104. Beat uh, the Nuggets, 104-103 on March 4th. Um, Took one from the Oklahoma Thunder, which is always good, uh, 116-102. Beat the Pistons, 105-93. That was on the 27th of February. And then they dropped one pretty bad, uh, 85-101 to the Nets. Mm. Uh, Just thought I'd hit on those, Robert. But some other stuff. some weird stuff. I'll go ahead and just start with uh, with baseball. Uh, a couple of weird stories. Uh, sad, in a sense. Uh, there's a guy, he's a pitcher. His name's Stephen Wright, and he's a knuckleball thrower. He plays for the Red Sox. So you know much about knuckleball guys? I, I really don't know much. I've yeah, so term. Phil Necro was the one growing up that everybody remembers from like the 80s and stuff. Uh, um, Tim Wakefield was one that played for Boston. Uh, some of these guys, it's such a weird deal. Uh, you have uh, R.A. Uh, Dickey, who was with... Uh, Blue Jays, sorry, I went blank. Mm-hmm. Um, these guys, some of them were ex-position players or ex-pitchers that threw nothing but fastballs and different stuff. Well, these knuckleballers are such a – it's a niche deal, man. It's really neat. that This ball, whenever – it doesn't spin, so there's no – Whenever you throw a baseball and it spins, it mm-hmm. creates uh, the pressure and stuff. So it makes it go straight or depending on if you put spin, it'll spin. With a knuckleball, it's extremely unpredictable because huh. then you have the seams acting uh, as resistance and the ball just bounces around. These guys are only throwing this ball 60, 70 miles an hour. So it's not hard at all, but it's extremely hard to hit because you can be a great hitter. But Why haven't I heard about this science yet? This is crazy. Oh, it's awesome. There's I mean, I've always heard really, the term, but I really, really didn't know what it was about. Okay. Awesome uh, documentary on Netflix called Knuckleball. Okay. That everybody, if you're a baseball fan, should definitely watch. Uh, another one is called The Art of the Fastball, which is really neat. Uh, give some comparison from the guys back in the day. It's uh-huh. where you, you know, they didn't have clocks on them. Now you can look at the scoreboard and you see 96, 95, 100, you know, whatever. Uh, these guys throwing back in the day didn't have anything to go off of. So okay. uh, this guy, his name's uh, Stephen Wright. He's been suspended for 80 games following a positive test for human growth hormone. This is coming off of him being suspended. Uh, a 15 game suspension last year in spring training for domestic violence. So, wow. yeah, so this guy's definitely having some problems. Uh, Might have been trying to get his, uh, I guess, his game back, but it just kind of blows my mind HGH with a knuckleball thrower. You see that with guys that are trying to stay in the league, getting into their 30s and stuff. Uh-huh. Whenever you're breaking down, 163 games is a long season, but uh, just a sad deal. I hope uh, everything gets worked out on that. Don't like to ever see anything like that, but tough deal. Another thing, I'm going to go into a couple ones. Uh, Bryce Harper, I told you he was the last big guy after Manny Machado to sign. He's waiting for his uh, free agency to come up and who he was going to sign. Okay. Well, he signed, and we know the numbers. Okay. 13-year, $330 million <laughs> with the Phillies. But, Robert, what's really <clears throat> neat, what's really not neat, what's crazy about this is just, just shows you how much these guys really hate uh, uh, free agency, being on the market and stuff. And I'm going to get into a story that I read about uh, here in a second. He signed his with a no opt-out and no trade clause. He's staying in Philly till 2031. 
The wow. guy's not leaving. So a lot of guys do like a five year, you know, after two years, they can opt out of their contract and somebody else can pick it up. That, that happened with the Rangers. And uh, whenever the Rangers got rid of Alex Rodriguez and he went to the Yankees. So I just thought that was really, uh, really crazy deal. And now, that- now, are these guys signing these long terms? Obviously, you're, you're saying they want these long term deals. And now, is that because they, they, they want to stick with these teams and, and, and the cities they're in? Or is it that they're just looking for the deal it's, to keep them? Is it, is the it money? Deal. Or is yeah. it. Or is, okay, so you're saying. Yeah, for it, sure. Some of these guys, they can sit here and tell you that they want to stick with teams, but the majority of them aren't playing in their hometowns. Okay. They're not playing, unless they're like a guy like Joe Maurer signed with the Twins. He's from Minnesota. The guy wanted to stay there his whole career. Some of these guys, the majority of them are chasing money, which rightfully so. Sure. I understand. They're going to the highest bidder. A lot of these guys don't. Don't, they want these long-term contracts because they know they're going to get paid. Baseball is the only sport with guaranteed money. Hmm. You sign for 330 and I'm going to tell you all about Bobby Bonilla Day whenever it comes up sometime soon. Uh, you'll love that story. These guys want to stay in with the team and not have to worry about going back on the market because he missed the beginning of sp- spring training. It's a slow process. Hmm. These, I mean, you're dealing with lawyers. You're dealing with a league. It's a crazy deal. So these guys want to get signed and stay in a place where they're going to get paid. That's ultimately what it comes Fair down enough. to. Fair enough. I guess if you get it worked out, you yeah, got it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this kind of leads into Rob Manfred, who's the commissioner. He was saying that uh, ultimately free agency is not occlusion. It's a distributional problem, stating that it just – really tough these guys there's there's teams that can you know they look at the numbers and go like well we can sign Bryce Harper for 300 plus million dollars or we can get somebody that might not produce him as well uh, produce as well or bring in fans that's what Bryce Harper brings in fans guys are looking you know people are coming to see him hit a ball 360 feet and then they're selling jerseys exactly so it's it's a double it's a double-edged sword with this but some of these teams are like we can win if we get a guy that hits you know, thirty points less, but gets on base just as much. But as no, Bryce but Harper. and that's a great point because there's two different ways to, to attack. Sure. If you want a winning team, yeah, you go after the people that can that can win for you. Yes, but if you got big names and you're going to yep. sell jerseys and make a and ton of money, you can build a team around yeah. him. You can bring up guys that don't cost as much through your farm system. It's a neat deal. It's it's kind of I, cool. I but think sometimes the average sports fan forgets that ultimately it's a business. It's an extreme and, business, and just because your team doesn't have a winning season, yep, doesn't mean that they didn't win. No, for fiscally, sure, fiscally, financially. Yeah, I mean right. you look. Just uh, for instance, you take the Astros. They went to the World Series in 2005. By 2007, they had offloaded all their big numbers. Uh, Carlos Beltran went to, uh, at that time, I can't remember where he went after. Uh, It's been a few years. But they've been in a rebuilding phase since 2007. A 10-year deal to where Astros fans like myself were just heartbroken. But then we won one in 2017 because they built their team from the ground up. Didn't pay a ton of money. And now their guys are getting, you know, you have Alex Well, and then you've got that branding. I mean, like, how long have the Cowboys sucked? Yeah, for sure. 20 years. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? We still bought their jerseys. We still bought everything with a freaking star. Anything with a blue star on it. That's because they were winners for so long and they had all the... That's a great point. Yeah. Uh, Moving on, uh, this is one I just kind of wanted to touch on. It's kind of a weird story, but there's a guy by the name of Luke Heimlich. He's... uh he was he played for Oregon State, one of the top uh, top five, top three pitchers in the nation. Whenever he played, and uh, I forget the uh, publication, but they ran a story where he had pleaded guilty to molesting his six year old uh, six year old niece whenever he was fifteen. Whoa! Yeah, it's a heavy deal. No yeah. team in the MLB would want to sign him, even though he's MLB ready right now. The huh. guy is next level, throws from the left side, unbelievable stuff. Uh, a lot of. Uh, Stuff that I'd read about him stating that he could break into the league at any time. Well, he's now signed. Nobody would sign him. He's now signed with the Tecolotes de los de los dos Laredos out of Nueva Laredo. Say that three times. Yeah, fast. I, it's good wow. luck with me. Goodness <laughs> so gracious. So it's a team out of Mexico. Yeah, team out of Mexico wow. signed him. Pretty much stating like, hey, we understand his past. We think that everybody deserves a second chance. And now he's since recanted his story. He signed a document stating that he was guilty, but he's now saying that he wasn't. Huh. So uh, that's a weird deal. I just thought I'd bring that up since it's so close to home. It's uh, Laredo, just a couple hours away. Uh, extremely good baseball down there. I've had some friends that have played in that league, and it's awesome. That is an interesting story. A little awkward to talk about, but yeah, it is. Um, I just thought well, I'd cover. Hey, good on know. the MLB for you know yeah, having stand a standard. Them by their guns for sure. It tells you. They've- you know, and as far as uh, that Mexican team goes, I mean, obviously standards are different. For sure, uh, you could say 
well, I guess everybody does deserve a second chance, but I don't know. Sometimes that's a tough. Some one. things I don't yeah. think so. You know, I think that in this instance, I think that the MLB did a really good job. I think that if they did that, you definitely lose fans and stuff. And people, yeah. you know, that guy's got stigma on him forever. That's just part. Well, of Well, you it. know, the, these teams, these uh, leagues are trying mm-hmm. to. They're trying to bring up heroes. Yeah, of you course. Know, sports yeah. figures, sports I mean, figures. Yeah, look up to. I, another, it's hard right, to look another up to story that kind of about Paul Goldschmidt. About he's a guy from Texas, played at Texas State, and how uh, whenever he let he got traded by the D backs to St. Louis, to where his teammates from the D backs were texting all of the guys from St. Louis, saying like, "Hey, you just got one of the best teammates, one of the best gentlemen you'll ever play with." And I think that that's a really good deal. You know, that's what I love about baseball is you can have some guys that aren't the best to watch. Manny Machado, I don't like the way he plays. Mm. He's an excellent player. But then you have guys like Paul Goldschmidt that are doing amazing stuff uh, that are really good for communities and stuff. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll keep moving. Right. Uh, a yeah, couple of small things. Salvador Perez, uh, Perez he's, uh plays for the Royals, one of my favorite catchers. Uh, he's sadly going to have to go under Tommy John. Have you ever heard of Tommy John surgery? Mm-hmm, so no. there's uh, that – it's uh, I forget the name of the tendon, but it's the one that everybody hits on their funny bone. That okay. bad feeling tendon. Well, in baseball, if that's funny about you that, you know, place. <laughs> if that if that breaks, they can actually take a tendon, usually from your thigh, uh-huh. and they can place it back in there. And sometimes it comes back, you know, twice as strong. And guys come throw coming coming back throwing harder. Uh, some guys just like the Byron have, man. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so he's going to be out. Sadly, he's going to be you know. Uh, He's going to be out for the entire 2019, uh, 2019 season, which is, uh, for me, I had a buddy that uh, played for the Royals last year, threw to him, and said that he was an amazing catcher. So I just – I never hmm. like to hear that. Uh, another uh, small thing, uh, San Francisco Chi- uh, Giants outfielder Cameron Maben was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence while at spring training in Arizona. These baseball players are getting as bad as our football <sighs> players. Oh man. <laughs> Got to clean it up. Goodness. Wow. Got to clean it up. Right. Um, moving on to the NBA. Uh this is a big deal. Uh, LeBron James has now moved past Michael Jordan into fourth place on NBA's career scoring. Ah, oh, this see, this upsets me. It, it's tough. I, I, it's it, I love I love the old school, the old regime. For sure. You know, yeah, I mean he's LeBron. and now he's only behind Kareem Abdul uh, Abdul Jabbar, Carl Malone, and Kobe Bryant, who are obviously three of the greats. But we have to always make sure that everybody understands that uh, the reason. Uh, Michael Jordan isn't as high as he is because he took those time, those years off to go play baseball. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He retired uh, after his father passed. It was a tough deal for him. So, uh, I just thought that was a real, I mean, it is a big story. Uh, I mean, there's that, uh, that screenshot of, uh, a few weeks ago where LeBron James is saying that, you know, he's the greatest of all time. The guy is probably the second best ba- basketball player of all time. But if you put Michael Jordan and him in their prime, I just don't see Michael Jordan losing. Right, Ever, right, yeah, the guy is unbelievable. You no, know, that, that well, that debate's LeBron been going James, yeah. yeah, for sure, and LeBron James now. is is unbelievable too. But I just don't see it happening. Um, and then uh, another a sad deal. Uh, we spoke on uh, wrestling, but a uh, big one. You know, I got to say this. Last week, I got so many people texting me and calling me about talking about wrestling. Apparently, people care. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, then I'll definitely start looking at. I didn't. I, you know, I was going to cover the uh, the basic stuff. Uh, you know, basketball, baseball. Football, but if that's if that's the case, well, I'll I mean, definitely hey, start. I mean, maybe I've just got weird in. friends. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't say that. Uh, uh, professional wrestler King Kong Bundy. King who's, Kong Bundy. I know. Uh, whose real name was Christopher. I don't want to mispronounce it, uh, but uh, Pallies or uh, Pallies. I'm um, P A L L I E S. Uh, he's sent. He passed at sixty one. Man, he was a, he was a, a man of a man. Huge. Six, four, huge. 458 pounds. Man, oh man. That is a huge... Look at that frame. Goodness gracious. That's a huge man. Um, he actually wrestled Hulk Hogan back in 86. Uh, in a steel I mean, cage match. Those are the glory days. I know. WrestleMania 2. WWF, WrestleMania two. right? Yeah. That was back that time, when it was WWF. Now, yeah, before... Yes, because yeah. I grew up in the WWF era before there was WCW. Uh-huh. Uh, and then... And uh, now, of course, it's WWE. Yeah, yeah. of course. Um, but... Uh, Hogan, uh, I mean, WWE has since made a statement saying that he was great, one of the greatest big men to ever lace up a set of boots. So, uh, And you're you know, saying that was uh, two. What was it? Yeah, um, WrestleMania 2. WrestleMania 2. Yeah. I mean, how many are there now? 33. Like, oh, man, I don't even know because so we're, like, we're in uh, you know 2019. That was in uh, 1986. You're talking about 33 years yeah. since, you know, I uh, – Condolences to his family. That's a sad deal. Um, Went against Hulk Hogan in WrestleMania two. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. insane. Well, uh, it was. Uh, but that's pretty much all I got. Uh, I think that's pretty much covers it. I'll keep uh, getting into some uh, Spurs scores weekly. 
And if anybody has any suggestions, anything anybody wants me to cover, anything, just let me know. Yeah, absolutely. And once again, KVOU Sports with Drew. Yeah. Uh, brought to you by Chicago Title. Yeah, uh, 116 Northeast Street, uh, Windu Bose, uh, branch manager. You can reach us at 830-333-7050. As always, I appreciate it, Robert. Thanks for having me, buddy. It's good to have you here, man. We'll do it again next week. Yes, sir. Real Country with Robert Miguel. KVOU Sports with Drew. Presented by Chicago Title. 104.9 Coyote Country.